Hello, welcome to Christ Center Gamers unboxing of Neat's latest and highest end microphone. I'm really excited about this. So as you can see, I've been using Neat's um, microphone here. I think this is the Worker B2. No, this is the Bumblebee 2. Yes, the Bumblebee 2 uh, USB microphone. It's been great. Uh, I really like it a lot and hopefully I sound good using it um, for this unboxing. Uh, but um, one of the things that I know about audio, because I am a bit of an audio nut, is that the top end of microphones are not USB, they are XLR. And uh, so I've been kind of hoping to dive into the world of XLR because I'm a bit of a nut, like I said, I like, I like the best of everything, I'm, I'm a little crazy that way. There's so no such thing as good enough, right? Uh, however, Neat Turtle Beach's microphone division has um, offered to send us to review their top of the line microphone. And I'm really excited about this. This is gonna really change my streaming setup. Uh, and I think I'll sound better than ever, hopefully, as the review will hopefully show. I'm not gonna be able to give you an audio sample on this unboxing because it's too much, too difficult to get that ready. But I will show you what it looks like, and I'm excited to check it out. So let's check this out together. The one, the only, the leader of the monarchy of microphones, the King B2. Now, Neat's uh, microphone line before, had King B has always been their king. And so this is their new model of king, the King B2. So this is a cardioid solid state condenser microphone from Neat Microphones. Uh, so you can see the black side and the yellow side. After all, bees are black and yellow, right? Uh, it's got vocals, instrument, podcast, and streaming, all those different functions that this thing is, is uh, designed for. And you can see it's, they're showing all the different sides of the microphone. And it says here, whether you're a musician, podcaster, or streamer, the Neat, King B2 offers outstanding versatility and incredible sound quality. Its large diaphragm, true condenser design is ideal for applications requiring low noise and high sensitivity. Vocals, drums, electric guitar, piano, and most acoustic instruments shine with the King B2. And spoken word applications from voiceovers to podcasting to streaming content can be captured with crystal clear clarity and depth. Thanks to its custom Class A Street Electronics, Powerful design. Oh, where was I? In a precision gold sputtered microphone capsule, what you hear at the output is what the King B hears at its input. King B2 will quickly become one of the most useful and commanding mics in your hive. Incredible fidelity for Fogles, instruments, and streaming. Class A to street electronics. Proprietary 34 millimeter large diaphragm true condenser capsule. Beautifully styled modern design and includes custom shock mount and pop filter. So yeah, there it is, the top of the box. And I'll show you this so you can kind of see it in more detail there. All right, and the bottom, which just says new corporation. So that's it. Let us take a look at this thing of large microphone-ness. I'm very much looking forward to this. The first time I didn't even need a knife. I had it all prepared and didn't need it. I guess we'll find out when we get on the inside, right? So let's see what we got here. Big old honking guy. All right, big great box. And there's the knife need. There it is. So apparently this one opens side. Oh, it's deceptive. It looks like the top is at the top of the box, but it is not. The top is here. I'll go ahead and slice that open. There we go. And here it comes. All right. King B2 quick start guide. Okay. So it says, thank you for your purchase. The King B2 microphone. It imparts the clearest, most accurate sound found anywhere, no matter what type of recording hive you inhabit. Uh, very low noise, less than seven decibels is really great um, and high output makes the perfect choice for digital recording all right 
it has recommend. So here, here's here's some really important information on the inside. I really like how they do this. Um, so here's the front. It talks a bit about the microphone. Hey, it's a little crinkled, but no big deal. Um, oh, do not ro remove, rotate, swivel, or remove the King B capsule in any direction. Damage may result from attempting to position the capsule. So apparently you got to leave it alone. That doesn't make sense. All right, so this is cool. So this actually shows you some specifications about it. 16 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, sensitivity, uh, 94 dB SPL. No, wait. 26 millivolts per PA at 1 kilohertz and 1 PA, which I don't know what that stands for. Pascal? 94 dB SPL. Um, its maximum SPL is 140, so that's pretty loud. Um, should we have plenty of dynamic range there? Uh, 0.5 THD, 150 ohms output impedance. Um, all right, so I'm going to move this box just a little over here so I can show you the manual a little bit better. It requires 48 volts fan and power, good, which my interface does support. So we'll be able to give this a full swing, which I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, here we go. Um, here's those specs and the frequency response chart. So a couple things to note about that frequency response chart is it's almost perfectly flat through the vocal range um, from 50 hertz all the way through about 2 kilohertz. It's pretty much flat with a slight rise of a few decibels up to 10k and then starts to drop off after that, which, okay, it should have a nice detailed sound without being obnoxious, hopefully. Uh, and it drops down a bit, starting at 50 hertz on the base side, uh, down towards 20 hertz at around negative 8 or so decibels at 20 hertz. So it's pretty good. It also shows the, so that's the frequency response range you can see right he, uh, here. You see that's the frequency response that I was talking about. And then there's also the uh, cardioid um, polar pattern of the pickup. So basically, long story short, you get the best pickup right in front of you, um, and then different frequencies pick up differently around the microphone, which makes sense, but that's what this polar pattern shows you, okay? It also comes with what they call the beekeeper, got a little of those puns, uh, for the uh, shock mount, and then the microphone itself is over here. And this must be, or oh, the honeycomb they call it, which I believe is probably the pop filter right here. And, and then it gives you some tips and tricks for vocals. Um, also, uh, guitar use as well on the back. All right, so that's the, that is the quick start guide. So now it is time to show you guys the mic itself. All right, so here's our box. Got some styrofoam to get out of the way. All right, there's that. And then we have the B itself. <clears throat> All right, so there's not much else in this box other than this. Uh, it, it, it has to be said that this is pretty heavy. Uh, this is no light microphone, I got to tell you. This, this thing has got some heft to it. I don't know exactly how heavy it is, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was a couple pounds. This is this is something. There's some beef here. All right, so let's go ahead and try to remove some of this plastic. All right. Here is the first cover there. And I've got some stuff to eat. I mean, not eat. Right there. Get rid of that. All right, and you can see here we have the microphone in its shock mount. So if I wiggle it, you can see the mount kind of wiggles a little bit and resi resists some of that wobble so that's what it's for and it's a pretty high quality one as far as I can tell I mean I'm not an expert at this but it fits in there pretty nicely you can kind of see how it sits right in here it's clearly custom made for it it's kind of an old basket and here are all these um, rubber bands of sorts that it floats in um, here is the uh, I'm actually gonna go like this here you can see this is the mount that you'd use to connect it to a um, uh, cam uh, microphone stand, right? So here's your 
and this this does adjust so if I loosen this um, that's the other wrong way here we go if I loosen this I can point this that way if I'd like right so I can go up or down swivels any way you like it to and you tighten this again and then it stays in place right um, you probably want to orient keep this one oriented up for the most part based on this shock mount I don't think you can do it any other way so you can have a I hope that didn't sound too bad in the recording. Sorry, guys. Um, you could probably have it like this. You might be able to have it at an angle as well, I would think. But you certainly can't have it upside down. I don't think that'll work out well. So this is really more of a vertical or maybe horizontal use, I, I would think, with the shock mount. Um, the honeycomb that they were talking about for the, the pop filter is already installed. It's sitting, I believe it comes off if, if you wanted it to, but I see no reason to take it off. I'm pretty sure this is the front, so you would speak into it like this. And uh, that's that, it looks pretty pretty good. So this is the XLR connector on the bottom. So like all XLR microphones, um, these three connect, this connector does, does everything. Basically it's, um, you know, it supplies power, it does act, uh, built in active noise, can well, active noise canceling, um, it's, it's designed for long runs. So you could run it on a 50, 50, 100 foot stage if you wanted to. Uh, if you had your equipment in another room, you could do that and it would work just fine. XLR cables are very flexible and very useful and used a lot in professional audio applications. So um, yeah, so that's that. It looks like this may be tightened down on the shock mount, so it could possibly, I'm not gonna. So actually it might be able to survive being upside down um, based on because it looks like there's some teeth here and it might actually be tightened down. I'm not going to take it out. I don't see a reason to. Um, but yeah, so that's what this looks like. Um, it, like I said, it feels very hefty and, and high quality. This is all metal here. Uh, most of this is also, actually some some of it might be metal. I'm not sure that all of it is. Um, but it's, it's definitely well built here. Um, the price on this guy, I believe, I, yeah, this feels like metal here as well on the bottom, the inside of the basket. I believe the price is $150 for this, which is honestly not a bad price for a high-end microphone. If, if it sounds as good as their, the, you know, the advertisements suggest, and hopefully we'll be able to find out together how good that sounds, um, then, you know, you get what you pay for sometimes. And uh, honestly, microphones, professional microphones, can be very expensive. Um, my, my brother uh, knows something, a thing or two about mics, and his favorite mic is, I think, three hundred dollars. So, uh, one hundred fifty is, is not is not an outrageous price for a good XLR microphone. So, um, all right. Well, uh, I hope you enjoy this unboxing of the brand new King B two solid state condenser microphone, cardioid, and. I'm excited to try it out. I think it's going to revolutionize, make me sound as good as I could possibly can, given this limited voice on future streams and audio content. Take care and God bless you all.